So guys, in this video, we will see how to work with Lex files. Okay, if you have a good laptop, you can obviously uh, read uh, GBs of data, GBs of uh, CSV file. But uh, sometimes you don't want to read uh, GBs of data, right? So assume we have a uh, lots of data in a CSV file and we want to get only the first five rows or you can say six rows. We don't want to import the whole CSV file for that uh, five rows or six rows right so in that case we will use chunk size okay so let me just uh, uh, check ndf2 and this is actually has this 447 rows and four columns so we should make a csv file uh, onto our folder so to make a csv file we just need to write the file name ndf2.2 uh, underscore csv then the file name so assume uh, the file name is large file okay dot csv okay now if i run it uh, there is an error ndf2 okay it is actually ndf2 yeah now if i run it okay so now if i go into the folder and there should be this large file dot csv and it has i guess that 447 rows and four columns right great now assume we we don't have this ndf2 okay so we have this new data frame which will take only five rows from that csv file okay so in that case we just need to write pd pd dot uh, read underscore csv then the file name is actually uh, large underscore okay actually l is in capital so large underscore file dot csv okay and after that we have to write chunk size so you can google that as well uh, chunk size pandas and you can go into the documentation and yeah so you can see this is a read csv attribute or parameter whatever so in the parameter uh, if you go down a bit uh, yeah you can see this chunk size so i'll just copy it from here and it can take only integers so yeah uh, okay, let me remove that int from here and that can be equals to 5. Okay, now if I run it and now if I print new data frame and well, yeah, we actually need to separate uh, this, uh, you know, total file. So we just need to write for df in this uh, data frame, right? So uh, we will now print uh, this df so okay let put clone and print df okay now you can see it is now separated with five rows only so it is now printing this fast uh, five rows then uh, let me just print one more thing mm, print separated okay now if i run it you can see uh, it is now printing this five rows then it is now separated and then again it is printing the five rows okay so you can set this chunk size you can go over here and you can see that it return text file object for iteration okay and you can divide the large files into a short files okay so you can see it is now divided into five rows part so the here it is the five rows then the next five rows then the next five rows and so on till i guess the last one should have two rows only yeah you can see the last one has only two rows